one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew, man, you do something about it because you can. From Click to Houston, here's the one y'all been waiting on, a lot of you. The sentencing phase for former Houston Police Department narcotics officer Gerald Goins has begun following his conviction on two counts of felony murder. This was in the Tuttle case. Goins was found guilty for his role in the fatal 2019 Harding Street raid that resulted in the deaths of Dennis Tuttle, Rogina Nicholas, and their dog. The raid was initiated based on falsified information provided by Goins, bringing to light issues of police corruption and misconduct with the Houston PD's narcotics division. Surprise, surprise. During the trial, prosecutors Tanisha Manning and Keaton Fort presented evidence, including phone records and testimonies, to show that neither Goins nor a confidential informant had purchased drugs from the Harding Street home prior to the raid. The prosecution's evidence revealed that the informant Goins claimed to have used did not exist. Didn't even have an informant. The jury responsible for Goins' conviction will now decide his sentence, which could be life in prison. This phase will likely include emotional testimonies from the families of Tuttle and Nicholas. On the defense side, attorneys Nicole DeBoard and George Seacrest are expected to argue for leniency. <laughs> they think he's guilty too. They portrayed Tuttle and Nicholas as drug users and suggested that Nicholas had attempted to grab an officer's weapon during the raid. The, uh, what, unlawful raid? They also claim that Tuttle's actions, including allegedly firing at officers first, were the primary cause of the deadly outcome of the unlawful raid. The defense argued that Goins was being scapegoated due to media pressure and broader allegations of corruption within the HPD narcotics unit. On the first day of the sentencing phase, a deacon testified about a traumatic 2008 encounter with Goins, where he was arrested based on Goins' false testimony. The deacon was convicted and spent 14 months in prison before being declared innocent and being awarded $260,000. Despite Goins' actions, the deacon stated he harbors no anger or malice. Of course, he forgives him. Now, here I'm going to stop it for a second because I'm going to re-scroll. It's going to go through the 10 days. I'm going to go real quickly through the 10 days of, of the trial because if you click the link in the description box, there are 10 hyperlinks you can click. Those 10 hyperlinks represent each day of the trial. I'm going to quickly, uh, I don't know, how would I say, summarize them here. Day one, ex-Houston PD narcotics officers' lives led to deadly Harding, Harding Street raid, prosecutors argue. Day two of the Gerald Goins murder trial, state drilling down on initial 911 call that got things going. Day three, Note by Gerald Goins confirms there was no confidential informant in the deadly Harding Street raid. Day four, Gerald Goins' former HPD partner Stephen Bryant drops a bombshell during emotional testimony. Day five, defense questions thoroughness of Harding Street home search after deadly raid. Day six, HPD detective says no evidence Gerald Goins fired a firearm during the Harding Street raid. Day seven, jurors hear from a Texas Ranger who investigated the deadly street raid. Day eight, autopsy photos shown in Goins trial, deadly Harding Street raid. Day nine, defense begins presenting a case for Gerald Goins murder trial. And day 10, prosecution and defense rest in the Harding Street murder trial. Now, Detective John Snook, testified about evidence found in the Goins City issued vehicle following the raid, including a 39 grams of cocaine, 0.39 grams of cocaine. The defense suggested that Goins was sloppy in handling evidence, but not intentionally deceitful. Also, one of Goins' confidential informants, Ms. Calvin, testified that she worked for the ex-HPD narcotics officer for about 22 years, 
often signing affidavits without performing actual work. The jury will return to hear closing arguments and then deliberate ongoing sentencing. Elizabeth Ferrari delivered an emotional testimony about her relationship with her brother, describing the difficulties she faced after his death. She expressed that losing him felt like losing a life partner and noted the negative impact on her business. Despite not seeing Dennis Tuttle for more than once or twice a year, Ferrari said she maintained a regular contact with him through weekly phone calls. <clears throat> it's her brother. The defense will not call any more witnesses to testify on behalf of Gerald Goins. And then the story goes on. Uh, if you click the link in the description box and go all the way near the bottom, there's like um, little blurbs of quotes from each witness in the testimony. Um, you can read their quotes. You can read, I guess, what they said. I went through some of it, but I don't want to belabor you with reading each blurb from each uh, witness. So whatever his defense attorneys say is bullshit, in my humble opinion. This cop is a liar. He's a cheat. He's corrupt. And he does need to go to prison for the rest of his natural life. That's in my humble opinion. I wonder what you guys think. 